2.5 is focused on non-void methods. So the difference between a void and a non-void method is non-void methods return a value. That is the same type as the return type in the signature. So if we make a non-void method, say public um, integer, actually let's do static because we're going to put a print statement. Uh, let's do static integer then we're going to write the name sum. Now, this is different from a void method because one, we didn't write void, but two, we gave a data type here. And this data type is what's going to be returned. So we're going to return an integer in this method. Very, very cool. So when we call a sum method, we're going to find the sum of three values. So we got to write perimeters because we have to have three numbers to add the sum up to. So let's write three perimeters. We're going to do integer num1, integer num2, integer num3. There we go. Now we have three perimeters. And what we want our method to do is just find the sum of these three values. It's not that hard. So what we're going to do is that we are just going to make, let's do a variable. Let's do integer sum equals n1 plus n2 plus n3. And we're just going to return sum. Now if I call the sum method, what's going to happen? What is it going to do? Let's see. Because we didn't say to print something, it's not going. Oh, we didn't even give it any arguments either. Yeah, one, we're not gonna we're not, we're gonna have an error because we didn't put any arguments. But because we didn't like put a print statement or it's not it's not a void method, it's not going to uh, print anything. It's not going to do anything because we returned a value and return is not the same thing as print. So what do we do now? Well, what if we want to print the sum? All we gotta do is put a print statement. So I'm not print. And we're just gonna print the sum. So we're gonna call the sum method. We're gonna give it three values. Let's do 10, 20, 30. Uh, in our arguments, and then now it's just going to print out the sum. So 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60. I gave it a, a comma after there. Not supposed to do that. Now it's going to print out 10 plus 20 plus 30, and that is 60. And all it's going to print out now is 60. Very, very cool. All right, let's do, I want to change this to a print line because we're going to call something later. Actually, no, it's fine as a print statement. Okay, now what we're going to do is just write another non-void method. One more. So let's do public static um, Actually, I don't think we need static. No, let's try it without. Public um, double sum. And we can return a string, a float, a boolean. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, let's do public double average. And we'll do the same parameters. We can do the same parameters. That's that's all good with Java. And all we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, let's do another integer sum. We can call another sum variable. That's perfectly fine. And then we'll do integer average, actually double average is going to be, uh, I'd probably make this double sum as well. So we're going to do double sum equals that. Double average is going to be sum divided by 3. And this is going to return AVG, average. So let's get an average of 10, 20, 30. So average of 10, 20, 30. I'm calling the average method. I have my three arguments in order, uh, num1, num2, num3. I'm getting an error because I forgot my uh semicolon uh debugging is so fun in java i highly recommend it it's good for the brain and now i'm just gonna give me another error because i, I hate these yes it has to be static i told you <laughs> all right yeah it's static because we are doing stuff with it we're printing it um yay exciting i know uh there we go now we're gonna get our 20. what if we just said return five <laughs> what happens if we just return five we get rid of that uh, average. Well, it's just not going to mind the code, and it's just going to return 5 as a double, because it's a double non-void method. If we return average again, actually, what if we do return sum divided by 3? We get rid of this whole average variable, save some code space. It's still going to return the average 20.0, because it's still returning a number. What if we did, what if we removed all this code? What if we did uh, n1 plus n2 plus n3 we did the sum of that, and we did that divided by 3. So I had to put it in parentheses because of PEMDAS. Um, we learned that in unit 1 video. So what if it just returns that? Is it going to print out 20? Let's see. Yes, it is. So we just saved so much lines of code by just returning the math equation. We saved two lines of code. I know it's not that much, but it adds up over time. Look how many lines of code Siri is. Uh, so yeah, that's just uh, one way to do it. Uh, yeah. Very, very cool. And yeah, that is 2.5 uh, non-void methods. I love non-void methods. They're really, really easy compared to void methods.
And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It's free and it really does help me out. I have more AP computer science videos. If you want to go check those out, uh, they're really, really helpful and all of that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.